Yo, what's up, peeps? Welcome back for more Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII! Last time, we made our preparations of sorts to take on the Fire Cavern, the prerequisite to the field exam. This time, we're gonna be doing just that. Object at objective to obtain low level, low level DS. A team member must support. Are you ready? We are ready. I'm a support. Instructor number 14, Christus Tripe. Select a time limit. Choose one instead of your abilities. Challenging yet reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I want to do 40 minutes. Nah. I'd say we could... I want to give me 30 minutes. Very well. Good luck. Because you know me. I'm going to draw a stamp to oblivion. <laughs> My job is to support you in battle. Everything else is up to you. Bye. <coughs> Fire caverns are more like magma caverns. You know, the boys have to tell them to test them. my car makes them nervous. Whatever. I'm just kidding. Trying to keep you relaxed, that's all. Not doing it very tough, are you? Yeah, this is a lot more than just fire. So, this place looks excellent. Oh, okay, here we go, here we go. Back attack! Awesome! Preemptive strike! With a preemptive strike, you do more damage and you're basically guaranteed an escape. Red Bat! A type of bat with a large mouth lurks in dark places, dies quickly from the air to bite its targets. Yeah! 34 HP! The first one was. The one. First monster we ran into had more of a bite than these guys. I swear. Any RPG at all, bats are the weakest enemy ever. Okay, okay, I'm just gonna do a normal attack with Christus here. I'm not gonna do anything else. One strike, dead. Bats are. The one enemy that is pathetic. Yeah, baby. And it quests level up, but <laughs> they still make good grinding fodder because they don't give all that much experience, and they give a a decent amount of AP, like anything else. Oh, because of my cross spamming tendencies, I can't take any more fire. <laughs> Hooray, Grass Spam! And oh my god, these guys, these guys, these guys! Oh my god, these guys! An elemental monster, yeah. Ice, we don't have ice. We do have a form of ice, but not currently Junction. These guys! <laughs> Target, analyze, bomb, a monster powered by fire, usually calm, but it's still a dangerous monster, it becomes gigantic or explodes when attacked. It won't do anything like that now, but in later levels, its detonation hurts like crazy. Bats are so weak, I'm just gonna basically ignore them and take them out last and focus on the bombs. But bombs? For, for damage of the bomb did seven. Yeah, they cause, they, they cause, they cast fire spells as well. Thankfully their magic set isn't really all that high, which 
Something I probably should have explained last time is magic is going to be your most important stat. I won't be getting into wine tell a bit later, but trust me on this, your magic stat is going to be your most important. Now, this would have been the perfect opportunity to show off Shiva. <laughs> there is one more enemy I'm hoping I could um, encounter. One that's going to be especially vital to encounter. I need to encounter it before this point. <clears throat> In the fire cavern, I mean. I'm glad I killed 30 minutes because, wow. Okay, that bomb should be close to dead. Why am I, why am I saying it is close to dead? Boom! Alright, that takes care of the bombs. My bombos! My bombos! Ooh, nice. And you got a bombs card! Very nice. Occasionally, we can get more. Card drops from enemies. Ah, I won't worry about that for now. Come on, enemy! There it is! There's the butter! There's the butter! There's the buttermilk pancakes house for opening for. Why did I do with buttermilk pancakes? Pancakes! Blizzard, that is why. That's why this enemy is so important to encounter before taking on the GF. Fuel! Any magic attacks are almost completely ineffective. However, very weak against physical attacks. Especially strong magic defense. Next to no HP and no physical defense. <laughs> That's essentially what the description meant. So what I'm going to be doing is... Draw spamming blizzard till the cows come home! Because that's what I do. Uh, so once again, I'll see you at the end of it. Oh yeah, I get a trophy for a magician talking as much as it is over big it is. Yeti. All right, we got our draw spam fixing. Bye, Beal. I don't know why, but for whatever reason, I always thought Beal was more akin to a living fan. You know, like one of those rotating blade fans. That's why I thought Beal was meant to, was supposed to be like its wings and shit. As the um <clears throat> the blades rotating the fan. I guess I was right. You and Cypher in a class of your own. You both have amazing strength and potential. Wow. Um. Thank you. Now, as much as I wanted to show off PS, I don't intend to summon them for the site. <coughs> Is it? Are you ready? Seem confident enough. 
Alright, this is it! The GF! Ifrit! Ifrit! Fire GF! Uses fire magic! No shit! It's a strong opponent! But it is part of Charge Exam, not impossible to defeat! I was like, don't use fire on it! Alright, it's got particularly high spirit, but you got decent amount of magic and. Let's cool ya off. Uh. Boom! <laughs> it's weakness is fire, but it's not fire. I just said not to use fire! What is wrong with me? Alright. It's weakness is blizzard, obviously. But it's got a particularly high spirit, so there's also that. Now there is a reason why I'm not using GS in the site. Also, I like the fact that we have Infrared having two earrings on one of its ear. That's actually a pretty sweet detail, actually. Now I do want to have uh, more cures on hand. Thankfully, I can get some of them from Infrared. Impudent humans! That is actually stronger than it's magic. That's actually something to expect. I mean, he does have bulging biceps. <laughs> <laughs> so, the fact that it's jump punch does more than fire actually makes sense. Speaking of fire, see, 60. Whereas his jump punch hit uh, about a hundred. Yeah. I can realistically see that given his bulging biceps. Alright, I wanted to make sure I had some cures on hand when you face him against Ifrit. Let's go ahead and cast some ice on its head. Hmm, not bad for a human. <laughs> All right, we'll get you some more ice water. I feel like this is more so um, earning Ifrit's respect rather than just earning him on our team. That's kind of why I don't like using Shiva. I tend to think of it as that. Whoa, I got a cure, Christus. And I'll do so on Christus' turn. Squall having a higher magic stat would be better suited for casting Blizzard. Even though based on the law logic, he should be casting Cure. Oh, whatever. No, it is what it is. <laughs> I realized I could have had Questus use her limit break, but not well. Okay, the fight should be close to being done here. <laughs> what is that thing? I like the fact that this right here is the prerequisite to doing the uh, take part in the field exam. For me to lose to a human. Very well, I will join you. <laughs> Amber strikes me as kind of the GF that well recognized strength. And oh, I got Ice Magic Refined. Very nice. We earned him. He earned Ifri. There isn't much time. But let me go over this real quick. Good, you got yourself a Gia. We had ourselves two 
Before we... Okay, whatever. This, I've also briefly gone over. Also, I like in the tutorial, we have a spell that we can't possibly can get. <laughs> There's a lot of fire element monsters, but the turret function lizard to elemental attack. Alright, so for the time being, what we're going to be doing is functioning Ifrit to Squall. As well as following the advice and continuing Blizzard to our attack. Oh, and I guess can on strength for now? That's what we're gonna do? Yeah. Also, since I thought the reformers learned, let's fight you on strength. How close is. Okay, so pretty close. <clears throat> Alright, so I'll see you roughly at the end of the fire cavern. Or rather, back of the entrance. <clears throat> and yes, because we got a freight, our timer is no more. If you hit zero, then it's a game over. Boom! 163 damage. <laughs> Oh, on a Royale! Yes, we get back attacked. Typically when that happens, you're less likely to run away. And while your back is turned, you take more damage. Yeah, basically inverse of having a frame attack against you. You get to back attack by the enemies and yeah, that happens. It happened on the way back, so I figured I might as well show it. Faculty is gone. Yeah, big surprise. Now, before I return to the garden, there is that one thing I want to do. Remember I said that there's something. <laughs> okay, back, 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 bug bite. Yeah, like that's kind of mean, tactically, Dick. Goodbye. Alright. Now there's something... Something that's going to be uh, especially helpful that's up and down this coastline. These guys. These guys are a godsend to hunt. If we scan them. We get... Festiculon, a fish that swims in the ground. Only the fin can be seen. One theory says it may be a shark. Festicula, a festiculon. I can never pronounce it right. For one, we get plenty of sleep. 
from these guys. But, that's not the main reason why we want to hunt them. No. <clears throat> I mean, sleep is a pretty good spell to get from these guys. Okay, I'm gonna say they go under a new name. I'm gonna scan them again, just to be sure. <coughs> no, they don't. The main difference is they get a different method of attack. I meant that I mean animation. <coughs> if the opportunity will admit, will present itself. You guys have a fair amount of HP. <clears throat> I believe a fair amount of, um... Defenses as well. So we're gonna... Zappy Zappy! You want to hunt these guys down for their fish fin, and I got card. Yes, oh yeah, baby. Let's go. All right, now that we got card, we want card mod, and of course, thunder magic. We're fine. I'm gonna work on this before I work on card mod, but we will want card mod, absolutely. So like, okay, what's the big deal? I said we're fine. We get 20 waters from Fish Fin. Water is going to be your best spell that you're going to be, uh, well, dungeoning for magic. Now, we do have 40 of these, so it's not going to be greater than fire quite yet. But, have you noticed... Only 40 waters, and it gets me 14. That's pretty good! So, I'm gonna be working on this off screen, you know, just to cut the uh, boring shit. But, I do want to actually demonstrate card. As I walk up and down this coast, walk up and down this coast, walking up and down the coast, taking a nice little break on the beach, enjoying that race. Me talking in an incredibly cringe accent, so I think I better stop. He says as he continues to eat it. <laughs> okay, so what I do is <clears throat> attack them a bit. Come on. Come on. There we go, buddy. As far as I'm aware, it doesn't exactly uh, do anything as long as it's in the ground. If it does, then, well, I've been unlucky. Alright. Gonna cast card. <laughs> Monsters will have different six variants of success.
if I remember, I will be including these uh, success rates in the bios. But, obviously not all enemies can be carded. There we go! Fastification F. Huh, you're missing an F from your name, buddy? That's a big F for you, then. <laughs> oh, that's bad. <clears throat> this is why a card is such a godsend. You'd be able to take out the enemies, minus the um, experience. Which is really good because. Well, the higher level you are, the stronger the your enemies become. And while I do this off screen, next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII, I'll be returning to Garden in preparation for our field exam. See you guys then!